Welcome to the program. I'm Andrew Wilkow. We are just 41 days away from the presidential election, and today is National Voter Registration Day. But the debate over voter ID laws continue to intensify, and Latinos are facing a harsh, harsh form of discrimination like nothing we've seen since the Jim Crow era. A form of discrimination so vulgar, it's beyond the pale. 10 million Latinos across 23 states are in jeopardy of not being able to cast a ballot on November 6th. It's true. It's all in this report by the Group Advancement Project, which was started by a group of civil rights lawyers. They accuse voter ID laws of being, quote, the greatest assault on voting rights throughout our history. Excuse me? Just exactly how is showing a photo of yourself, a photo ID at the polls, an assault on the rights of Latinos all across our country? Now, we contacted Advancement Project for proof of this. As of now, we're still waiting to hear back. But this form of civil disenfranchisement goes, goes way back, long before states here in America began exercising their 10th Amendment authority to ask voters to show ID. To really understand this intolerance faced by Latinos, one must go back to the Reagan years, 1988 to be exact, because that's the year that Mexico passed its national voter ID law. According to USA Today, Mexican officials unveiled the voting ID two decades ago to properly identify electors in a country with a history of casting multiple ballots, resulting in charges of fraud. The most notorious case of fraud was in 1988 when a computer crash wiped out early results favoring the opposition. Uh, the voting ID ended up being a good way to identify electors, so the country made it a requirement. Now, just about every adult in Mexico has one. So there you have it. The Mexican government is clearly racist to Hispanics. Now, all kidding aside, other Latin American countries like Chile and Peru also use identification cards. And some even take it a step further. Venezuela, you know, as in Hugo Chavez, revamped its voting process with biometrics, a system that uses fingerprints to verify the voter's identity. And Brazil is looking to do the same thing in order to put an end to fraudulent voting. By the way, Canada also has voter ID laws. The Canadian government requires voters to show a picture ID. Just so you know, there's no actual right to vote that exists in the Constitution. I know, shocking, right? The only provisions concerning voter discrimination here in the U.S. are contained in the 15th Amendment that forbids the state from denying the vote based on race, the 19th that blocks the state from denying the vote based on gender, and the 26th that bars the state from holding back the vote based on age so long as the voter's 18 by Election Day. And by the way, there's no age limit to voting. The 10th Amendment to the Constitution clearly states, and I quote, the powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. So nothing in the Constitution prevents a state from requiring voters to show ID. And, uh, well, this report is making the claim that one voting group, the Latino population, is somehow more negatively affected by voter ID laws. Yet, I really can't see any evidence of how. The report also claims that naturalized citizens are somehow targets, that Latinos don't have time, means, or transportation to get to the DMV and register for an ID. That 16% of Latinos don't have a photo ID compared to 6% of non-Hispanic whites. Now, I have a dumb question. How would you research people without ID? I mean, how would you find them? This fight over voter ID has been going on since 2010. And the funny thing is, the people complaining they don't have the time or the money to get ID have the time to stand around protesting and the money to make protest signs and T-shirts. If some of these people just spent half the energy getting in line and providing the necessary information and taking a picture, this wouldn't be a problem. And they've had two years to do it. Now, I know, nobody likes going down to the DMV. But who in this society can function without ID? You need an ID to drive a car, fly on a plane, even in some cases ride the bus or the train, to attend school or register your kids to attend school, to pay taxes or get welfare, to get a credit card or food stamps, to buy or rent a home, to stay in a hotel, get a gun. Hey, that's kind of a funny one, get a gun. 
The Second Amendment to the Constitution doesn't say anything about showing an ID to exercise a constitutional right. But in all 50 states, one must show an ID to purchase a firearm. Just don't tell that to Eric Holder, who said he vowed not to, quote, stand by and allow the voting rights of American citizens to be impinged by specious arguments made by those who seek naked political advantage. Specious? Isn't this about the time that progressives throw out the E word, that there's no empirical evidence that voter fraud is a real problem? Really? It isn't? Take a look at this video of a skinny white kid trying to vote as Mr. Eric Holder. H-O-L-D-E-R. That's the name. And you were a Democrat. I do. Northwest, that's the address. Okay. Can you find me there? I actually forgot my ID. You don't need it, it's all right. I looked in the car. As long as you're in here, you're on our list, and that's who you say you are. Okay. I would feel more comfortable if I just had my IDs. All right, if I go get it. I'll Wait. be back faster than you can say furious. We're not going anywhere. <laughs> faster than you can say furious. You know, there are dozens of videos like this. People trying to register to vote as Tim Tebow, um, as Bill Maher, you name it. Progressives want you to believe that the civil rights of Latinos are under attack, that they are the unfair target of discrimination and can't exercise a basic voting right. But all it really comes down to is the fact that Without the Latino vote, Obama loses a huge number of votes in November. He's got a 68% support from the Latino community. Guess how much Romney has? 26%. Now, naturally, all 